Hey. Yo. Oh shit. What's left uh, with all the FJ stuff? I oh, mean, the hood. Yeah. Uh, little trim pieces, door. I was just trying to get this body done so we can get that back on the frame. Start piecing everything back together. I'm just cleaning up some some fender seams. A couple little touch-ups on the interior. Got to go over this Raptor coating a little more with the uh, tinted yellow. And I just keep working my way out. Get this all into clear coat. Get this back on the frame and start finishing all these fenders. The fenders are done. They can go back on. Door needs a little bit of touch up. Just oh, yeah. keep rocking. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, probably be done before SEMA, even though this isn't going to SEMA. But well, yeah, plan is actually uh, Wednesday night to have this done, and uh, Thursday. Well, yeah, hopefully Thursday be putting it back on the frame. Huh. Then uh, what's after this? We get the the Dodge, right? I believe, yeah, yeah. We're heading in the Dodge direction. back. To the Dodge. And that's going to be an exciting one because uh, we got a really cool color going on that. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Nice. All the body work's already done, so it's just rolling it in and tuning a couple little edges and Perfect. get that thing into paint. I think it's going to be exciting. Oh. We're talking about Raptors now. <laughs> Who would, uh, who would Rick be if he was a dinosaur in the office? Anybody need anything while I'm out? I gotta go get hardware. Oh, we were gonna order stuff from O'Reilly's, but if you wanna just, you know, pick it up. <laughs> Are you going that direction? No, they delivered. Let's just call them. I am. They're gonna have to order that, you bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay. They ain't gonna have tens of bones stock. What were you gonna tell them about Navy? Oh, like, we have Raptor names or something. Oh, um, he's definitely gonna be on this wreck or something. Some asshole that got made in the tower. That was about Nambi in the car show? Oh, no, no, no. I was oh. talking about Rick being a dinosaur. Oh. Rick, if you were a dinosaur, what would you be? The Dominus Rex. He's an asshole that was created. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. That, that one. <laughs> he's, he's too tall to be the Dominus Raptor, so. Here we are. Got four movies of Why Not to bring back life and. Who's gonna we have be Rick walking. Fucking, what's his name? Chris Pratt. None of us are hot enough to be in that man's shoes. <laughs> if you guys didn't like him in Parks and Rec, you guys don't deserve him now. No, that was the one. That okay. was the one. If you guys weren't there in the beginning for Indiana, you Indiana. can't be here for the dinosaurs. Parks and Rec is in Indiana. Oh. I thought you meant Indiana Jones. I was like, was he in that? No. He didn't do one? No, he was in Star Wars. Huh? No. The actor who played Indiana Jones was in Star Wars. Oh. You you, <laughs> yeah. you jumped the strip. We were talking about Jurassic Park. What are you Park. talking about? We were talking about Jurassic Shia Park. LaBeouf. You brought Chris Pratt. So you jumped Shia over. LaBeouf? He's I in wasn't. a fucking hole. Somewhere. She was going to tell him we need to <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, we need to call fucking O'Reilly's. Yeah, I got it. Sooner the better. I'll chat with you. Here, you were complaining about fifty fucking dollars. So, because you're complaining about fifty dollars, sir, we're three hundred an hour. We bill one hour minimum on my shop. I was kind enough to do a service for you for fucking fifty bucks. That took me about twenty minutes. So, actually, I should have billed you a hundred and fifty dollars for a minimum of a half an hour. And then you say that that was expensive and you didn't want to fucking pay that. And you tell me that I'm dishonest and untrustworthy and that you're going to bring me another vehicle in the future and have me do work on it. This is where I fire customers. Sir, come get your fucking brackets. Give me my 50 fucking bucks that you think that you're going to pay me. Call it good. I don't fucking care. Don't ever call me for your fucking clapped ass fucking Mustang. Don't give a fuck what you got into it or how much you paid for it. And you can take it to some fucking gym fuck who is going to fuck you and be untrustworthy. Well, I was the nice guy. This Fuck off. <laughs> so going. Just buy when you have a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, dude. The, I try. I try no. to say something. No. I can't they even can't. handle the wreck. So anti-confrontational. I'm like, oh, look at my Hot Wheels car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're not even. Uh, uh, oh, I'm not stupid customer. Yeah, I agree. Literally. You can't afford fifty dollars. Uh, you surely can't <laughs> suck my dick. Get out of here.
Yeah, what am I doing? Oh, uh, check out these fenders real quick. Check out these fenders real quick. Want to know, 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 know if I can bring up the uh, Raptor up along the hard part. <laughs> or the flat part. So the hard part? Like the bird oh, guys. The bird, bird, bird. Raptor on my hard part? <laughs> Come on, bird. Bird. Come on, bird. Guys, I just put some Raptor on my hard part. Can you show me where to put a bird? Oh, hey, boss, can I get you for a second? Just goes to show his arm. I think it's a lot. This world is fun. Bring Raptor up along this cell in here. I would love to. No, nope. this has floorboard only. Do not fucking put it on. So my do you want me to seat. clean up this seam right here? Nope. Right? That no, looks okay. factory. He said he wants okay. to look as factory as possible. Okay, cool. Then that's yeah, like, all right. Factory, factory as possible factory. with all this dumb shit that you stuck. But whatever, yeah. I'm not complaining. Base model is not my life. He's a, good, he's a good customer. It's not he my life. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, what is it? Uh, let it go. Let it go. Just ship that shit and let it go. <laughs> Sail it down the river as we run along the working song. We're just gonna ship that shit. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it looks legit. <laughs> no. Uh, customers is being held fucking particular on where you wanted certain raptor or not raptor and this and that. And that. Again, yes, raptor where you cut big holes in your floors and you have shitty ass welds. That's, do that. Um, get. Fucking pro <laughs> probably you should get some formats too. Yeah. But um, he's a painter, just so you know. If you didn't know, yeah. then don't do what he just did. <laughs> you know what my old oh I was gonna say, you know what my old boss used to tell me? I say my old boss because he was supposed to be my business partner, but he just bossed me around. Um, don't fuck it up just because the painter can fix it. <laughs> Unless you're the painter. And well, even up. if you are, he would just I fuck shit up. I would still fuck my shit up. And he'd be like, don't fuck it up just because you know you can figure it I'm like, no, you're only as good as you can fix your fuck up. So it's okay if I drop a boulder on the hood, I'll fix it. Oh. <laughs> um, I do still need that tinted bottle. Do you want me to call? Tinted who? The tinted raptor. Tinted raptor. Bottle right. of tintable raptor. Yes, if you want to call her and ask her if she can get a single... I don't think it's going to be a kit. Okay. It's not going to be a single bottle, but that's fine. All right. This guy's a fuck. And he's like, you're only open on fucking weekends. Or you're, he's like, are you guys open on fucking weekends? He canceled the first fucking weekend. Then shows up the second weekend when we're at a fucking car show in Woodland at the C10 Nationals. And then he's like, what time do you guys close on weekends? I have a hard time getting there by five. Listen, you don't want to pay 50 fucking bucks. You can't right. get here in our normal hours of operation. You want to show up on our fucking days off, drop off product, pick up product, and complain about a price. Mm -hmm. Sir, mm -hmm. you will never, ever, oh, ever call my fucking phone product. again and be a fucking customer of this place. Period. Have a good day. Hasta. Hasta luego, chica de madre. Uh, so what I put in there was recheck previous work. So that's all yeah. going to be free, right? Anything with that. And then diagnose uh, new concerns and invite the customer for repairs. So just basically, I'm not going to put any charge on there right now. I'm just going to leave it at zero until we discuss, you know, parts and things that we want to yeah. do to finalize stuff. Um, so uh, I'm going to confirm the dynamic brake fluid sizing for the master cylinder for front and rear just to see if it's a, a pedal length issue if it's a master cylinder issue if it's a proportioning issue whatever it is yeah. come to a full resolve yeah. of what the brake pressure is at each wheel yeah. um double check for rattles in the rear look for a squeak noise right when you're getting ready to take off that's separate yeah. from the rattle um we're going to be hunting down a steering wheel that's approximately in the 15 inch range with a fatter handle that yeah. your hands are on. Um, double check for an oil drip and then look to see if they still have replacement um, motor tapes for the electric antennas. And yeah. If not, we get need to get a new one. Yeah, and I mean those things, even the whole assemblies, I think they're only like 60 or 70 bucks now yeah. for a whole motorized assembly. Yeah. But either way, I'll look at both sides. Because I've changed those tapes out in the past. Yeah. It's not very hard to do. You know, they cost about six bucks or right, something. Right, right. 
I don't know. Can you still get those tapes? I don't know, but I can. Let me just see here. So. I'll have to look up the exact one, but it does look like a few of them are available. Um, uh, they're selling them more, a little bit more universal now to where it's like, I gotta measure the size and how long it is, but basically, yeah, it looks like I should be able to get them. And they're ranging anywhere from 12 to 15 bucks for just yeah. plastic mass with the piece. So. They, uh, the Cars and Coffee Sack are making a Cars and Coffee Cafe. And then Navi would like to make a meeting with you and Rick. That's not like a single location. I would yeah. do a fucking coffee truck. Cause Cars and Coffee is all about like going different locations. Yeah, like, but it's a safe location. But it'd be like a safe location for them to actually have their Cars and Coffee. Yeah, but what, it's not a surprise. Because they always go to like just different they like... They different coffee shops. So gotcha. they, they decided yeah. to open their own coffee shop. Oh. Which is really cool. Gotcha. Uh, and then it's a race. Like, it's like a it's race theme. It's like a race theme coffee shop, which is really cool. Uh, especially for a state that hates cars. It's a coffee truck though. That would make a lot of money. Too. Or a trailer towed behind some dope ass car. Mm, that'd be cool too. Like yeah. Um, but uh, what I was going to say was he wants to have a meeting with you and Rick. Uh, if we needed a permanent detailer, he would do nothing but come and detail. Perfect. 
Yeah. So yeah. that's not the guy I was talking to. But different but on the same. It's the same thing, but better because Namby is way more. Uh, he's been in the field longer. Nice. Who so, is it? Namby, he owns Cars and Coffee Sack. Oh, okay, cool. You know, him in detail? Yeah, he's got. He, he just wants to go and have a meeting with Rick and, and, and uh, Chris here. Huh. So, that would be cool. Yeah, because uh, in that way, you. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I thought was like, we have a body guy that does it, but we don't have a dedicated Yeah. Guy. We don't have a dedicated We don't have enough people. Yeah. yeah. I have stage for the body work. Team. But, no, but if we can get. Oh, um, that. I told him, I was like, we don't really need that one, but you're more than willing to have a meeting. I can't tell you, you can't have a meeting. You have a meeting. Right. Um, but, uh, but he is going to take product from Amazon for the nice. coffee shop. Nice. Yeah, so okay. With, uh, the car care products. Dope. Because you can have that. It with retail stores, you just can't have portal. When you call Mindy, I want to pack a large glove so please and thank you. Yeah. Gotcha. And while you two are here too, uh, I was just listening to this video as far as the uh, lottery thing goes and the speed stakes and shit. They're talking about to get away from all that licensing and insurance stuff and making it skill based. They're doing uh, a car giveaway, but you have to write in 2,500 words on why you deserve it, what you do. And they're gonna go like look through it all and kind of see who deserves it. Kind of, and then that'd be good for. And that takes yeah. it away from the lottery style, thirty to one odds. You What's know, the clock? Who are talking about them? Okay, so it's the old, um, it's those Australian guys or the Kiwis. Um, they're giving, it's like some little like Hyundai thing. I don't know, an up. It's an up that they swap. Oh, it's an up GTI conversion. So it's a GTI and some little, you know, New Zealand hatchback. Gotcha. Pretty cool. cool. And you gotta write in. I have to imagine what this looks like. So, to hype, um, I I figure what we could do before the initial giveaway for the Blazer, start oh, off, with, yeah, start off with the um, Supermoto. Yes. Um, yes. the Honda. Um, basically yeah. redo that, make it nice. We got plastics, we got all that shit. Just put I've fucking lipstick on a pig. Uh, yeah, uh, so we could do something like that where bike. it's like a bike giveaway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was so, I was like, Honda, we only have like the, the bikes back there. <laughs> yeah. It really took me a minute to, she was like, yeah. bike. And then, um, then, uh, Dirty Harry, the Ford that's up there at your house. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then that oh, way just, whoa. That's a project that's like. Well, it's pretty close. But still, um, it'd be sick because um, just basically be extend the bed right. and then um, make it a work truck. So then that the uh, side of the beds like right. Brad the Birdie's trucks, yeah. fucking like yeah, have them open, kidding. but it's like a diesel, yeah, fucking, uh, you know. CSO box truck. Like exactly. Box. Yeah, 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 CEO. yeah. Something like that. Men's yeah. <laughs> no, no, for sure. But and it's like solid warm up to the um, to the blazer. To the blazer. Yeah. yeah. Grand opening. Okay. September 22nd. Oh, leave my agua. Yeah. Hot in mouth. We'll see where we're at on that. Because I know that there's lots of shit going on. That's it. Fuel injection. And we're, what, Tuesday? And this is how the, the shop looks. And Saturday, it's going to look completely different. What? I got to hang out with you until we call. All right. So... I think you should, like, 22nd 22nd oh hey so we could do that we could do that because um yeah so t the 21st is spoke on so um if you want to sign up uh let us know or whatever okay. so we could do that because it's only 80 bucks so i don't know if like you and jackson want to do that or whatever but we can all yeah. go down as a group you know, promote, do all that stuff. Gotcha. For even for that show, because we're gonna be there the next day. Yeah. So. It's, it works for me. Yeah. Let me go call Riley so I can get right off my ass.